upper is the right decision for you. So we realize that so many people want to be the next Joanna Gaines or Chip and Joanna and uh, that's awesome you know buying a fixer upper and doing flips is a lot of fun and it's a great way to bond with your spouse or just you know have extra income. Um, but we do have a couple of tips or tidbits that you should think about before you you know go head first into this huge decision because either way it is still buying a house. So number one, you obviously need to run the numbers. You need to make sure that, you know, the expenses that you're going to take by buying, you know, equipment and different decorations and granite countertops or quartz or, you know, whatever else, it all makes sense with the price that you're buying the house at. Um, sometimes investors don't invest in a house because it won't be a quick flip. Um, so for you, that could be perfect because you could live in it and do the flip. But number two is that you need to also expect the unexpected. Um, I feel like a lot of people always underestimate the problems that can come with flipping a house or just doing any basic renovation. Whenever you get down in the nitty gritty of it, you almost always tend to find a bigger issue at the root of the house, um, whether that be like piping or electricity issues, um, something will almost always bite you in the butt. So expect the unexpected, save more money for that, uh, incorporate that into your costs, like tip number one, um, for a cushion, something to get you by when you find that uh-oh. Number three is that you might get dirty, especially if you're someone that wants to do 90% of the work by yourself. But um, one of our tips on that is that you're not the expert, you know, we get that DIY is usually the cheaper way out and um, it's a lot more fun that way for some people, but it's not always the best idea, especially when you're trying to reframe a closet and you're watching YouTube videos while doing it. Um, it's not always the safest route, so sometimes it's worth the extra money to just go ahead and call the professional and ask for their help or even just their guidance on it. Um, and you also need to inspect, obviously. But then inspect again because this sort of thing especially buying a fixer upper a house that you know that is already not in the best shape that is where you're gonna find most of your hidden eggs um so to say so do inspections do a lot of inspections do very thorough inspections find as many uh-ohs as you can ahead of time so you can get that price lower so it's like the best way to cover your butt and save your wallet just a little bit. And finally is be prepared for financing. Um, know what your options are ahead of time because when you're looking to do fixer uppers, a lot of people don't just have that spare cash in the back of their pocket. Um, a lot of the time you do need to take out a loan or get a credit card with a very low interest rate on it um, to help you with paying for this because a lot of people don't realize how much it's going to be. So again, when you're doing your expenses on how much the renovations are going to be, what you want done to it, um, how much is it going to cost just to get it to a livable state, that's you need to be prepared. So we have a couple of options on that. You can get an FHA 2039K loan and um, that will really help you. It helps with People that are wanting to do renovations and then another route is getting a Fannie Mae home style renovation mortgage and it's a lot it's geared more towards people that are buying the house and wanting to do renovations for them to live in it themselves so those are a couple of options and again you can do the credit card route if you're only doing very minor repairs or you know only fixing up the kitchen or something like that that can all fit onto one credit card um, but yeah, so if you want more tips, tricks, you can check out our blog, the link will be below. And if you want to, you know, learn more about what we do and how we could possibly help you with your house, then obviously give us a call at 770-744-0724. Thanks. Bye guys.